Hi everyone, it is currently the 17th of August 2016. We're tracking Tropical Storm, actually now Severe Tropical Storm Shansu. Yes, this was upgraded here this morning. It skirted just along the coastline of Chiba over towards Ibaraki Prefecture, just east of Tokyo during the early morning hours. Definitely brought some windy conditions out there. Uh, Shinkansen was canceled, actually. The Yamagata Shinkansen, about 1,500 people lost power there into Ibaraki. And max winds, uh, right around, that's reported in Chiba, uh, about 4.30 this morning. Morning, but an Aomori prefecture where the storm system is headed and it's continuing to intensify, uh, we actually had winds reported upwards of a 60 knots. So near typhoon strength winds uh, reported here right around 1400 Japan Standard Time. So still a potent storm system and you might be asking, well, what happened? remember there was a few things going on here we had some drier inflow wrapping into our storm system here about 24 to 48 hours ago and it was moving over an area of cooler sea surface temperatures as it neared Japan it did run over the Kuroshio current located right in here that allowed it to pick up some more moisture plus just towards the northwest we had this trough that was passing by and once our storm system got a little bit closer to that that had an abundance of moisture with it it was located more so back in this direction and once that moisture was able to wrap in, it kind of cut off that drier inflow we were seeing from the south and really allowed for more precipitation to wrap up into the storm. And one last burst of energy as it just skirted the Japanese coastline. You can even see that here. Yesterday about this time, we had all sorts of black uh, basically down here on the water vapor imagery indicating dry air. But today, not so much the case. A lot more humid, a lot more tropical air mass. In mind, this is all hindcast because... Uh, the storm system definitely starting to weaken now. It's getting way too far to the north, back into cooler sea surface temperatures. But it is quite incredible, and it was unexpected. And that's why I'm kind of talking about this, what we've seen this morning. Low-level center actually moving just towards the east of Tokyo. This is about 3 a.m., the worst of the winds in Tokyo. And really, we did see some passing showers. As I mentioned, Chiba, that's this area right in here. We saw max winds about 50 knots. Then if you watch this track towards the north, this is about 3.30. It started to get a little bit more organized in that low-level circulation. This is further towards the north. You have Sendai right here, Ibaraki down towards the south. There's your center of low, the low-level center at 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 a.m. How about that? Actually, by 10 a.m., it just had an overall low-level center of circulation, really well-defined in this. All that moisture coming on shore, slamming into the mountains out here across Tohoku. Widespread landslide warnings were issued earlier today. They're actually still in place in some areas out here across parts of Tohoku, so that threat is still there. You have to remember this area, a lot of it is volcanic soil, which can be prone to landslides. I did mention the uh, actual wind with the storm system have been upgraded to severe tropical storm status pressure at 980 but 55 gusting to 80 knots especially with that most recent wind gust up around 60 knots uh, definitely enough uh, for and to warrant JMA to upgrade this storm system I think that was actually a very smart move especially with that very clear and defined center of circulation we were seeing here during the morning hours I mean just take a look at the satellite imagery if that doesn't look like a severe tropical storm borderline typhoon I know just towards out this is a lot of low level clouds but enough convection did wrap in to make it look rather impressive now this is actually quite interesting all things considered because JTWC issued their final warning on this had winds of 35 gusting to 45 knots I think one of the big things with them is once it gets further towards the north it kind of gets away from the Navy bases we still have Misawa off here towards the north so a little bit interesting because they're definitely getting some rough weather and as I mentioned Amori Prefecture did see that very high wind wind gust but uh yeah definitely very interesting that jma upgraded the storm up to 55 knots but jdwc dropped it and stopped warning on it completely it's one thing you often see a little confliction with agencies especially when you get this far north uh and close to japan jma and jdwc might have different mindsets on these but overall this one is winding down especially as we go ahead through the rest of wednesday into thursday morning it's going to be over with
As far as the long range in the tropics, to be honest, it really is a hot mess out there. Take a look at our Chansu moving off towards the north. We have another tropical depression lingering around Hainan. And then we got that whole monsoonal belt, which is just a mess. Um, all the models really are a little bit different in exactly what happens, but they all do concur with something developing along that monsoonal trough stretching from the Philippines all the way out there around Guam, stretching back there towards the north and the Japan. One thing that does stay consistent, though, is the fact that that moisture and the enhanced monsoon the Haba got, which has been just absolutely devastating parts of the Philippines, including the Manila area, severe flooding, at least six casualties have been reported out there. Um, that's going to continue, guys, just because of this monsoonal surge. It, it doesn't look like it even lets up anytime soon as these waves just continue to develop. So unfortunately, that means more flooding for those of you out there. That is all for me on this one today, though, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, uh, just let me know down in the comment box below. I always appreciate your feedback. And as always, yeah, thanks for watching.